So I finished up a, a long career in the public service last year. Um, I thought it was time to do something different. Um, I'm not necessarily looking to swap one full-time career for another one, but this is an area where there is quite a bit of flexibility. So I was aware that Kangan had a history of delivering this course for some time, so it was well established uh, and seemed to have a good reputation in the industry. Uh, I liked the fact that the classes were offered in person in the classroom. Uh, I also knew that Kangan was delivering English language courses to migrants and to international students. So that gave me a lot of confidence that the course that they're offering would be very up-to-date um, and very practical uh, and delivered by people with real experience in the industry. Um, we got a lot of information before we started um, and in the initial one or two classes, so it was very clear from day one um, what was expected of us, what the course would look like over the eight or nine months um, and how to prepare ourselves as we went along. From the first week, we were doing real practice activities in the classroom. Um, so you got a, a sense very early of what it was going to be like as a teacher and an opportunity to, to reflect very quickly on whether you'd really taken on what you learnt um, and could deliver that in a practical way. Um, it was a very safe, a very sort of supportive environment. The trainers were very accessible as we needed them. We had very experienced trainers who had been teaching, not just teaching the TESOL course, but teaching English for a number of years. I also liked the fact that we had a few different trainers over the course. I think it was just good to have some different perspectives along the way and different people to ask questions of and get, get, get their insights based on their own individual experience. Well, I actually started doing some teaching before I even finished. Uh, there's obviously a lot of demand. I also would like at some stage maybe to look at the possibility of doing this in another country for a while. That seems quite doable as well. Uh, and I know there's also local volunteering opportunities which I'd like to explore. I think that would be um, you know, just to open up some different types of classrooms, which would be great. When you get into the TESOL classroom with your classmates, take advantage of the opportunities to observe them and let them observe you. Give you share feedback in the class. Don't be afraid of trying things that are new or that are unfamiliar. Uh, it takes a little while I think, to work out what your own preferred teaching style is. But then you also need to recognise that you're going to be teaching students who have different learning preferences. So you need to be able to adapt the way that you teach, the types of activities that you introduce into the classroom to reflect what's actually going on in that classroom. So in this TESOL course, this is the place to get up try things that are new, try the things that maybe you're not 100% comfortable with, see how they go, um, and, and also look at what the other students are doing and see if there are things that they are introducing that you could, you could do as well, because maybe you haven't thought of it. Everybody's got original ideas in this space, which is one of the joys of being here.